Hi everyone, it's Marla, and I'm back to share my latest project with you. Um, last month I participated in Bona's What's in Your Vintage Purse swap, and it was a really fun idea. We basically just take these little um, boxes from Michaels that kind of look like a purse. It has like a little handle on it, and um, alter it, um, paint the box, do whatever we want with it, and then on the inside um, we included ten handmade items. And so my swap partner is Amy, and so this is the box I made for her, and I will link all of Amy's information down in the description box, um, her blog and her YouTube channel. Um, I will link down there so that you can go check her out. She does beautiful, beautiful work. So this is the box I made. I used Prima pastiche paper, um, so this is all covered with the pastiche paper. Um, I lined a little bit more of it back there behind the flowers. These big roses are I Am Roses flowers, and I uh, they were just like a cream color to begin with, and so I used my uh, Wheatfields Glimmer Mist on them, some Golden Sleigh Bells from Lindsay Stamping, and then also my uh, Vintage Photo Distress Ink to kind of distress them and give And um, I have some Prima Bling on here, of course. Um, this little rose is from the jewelry section at Michael's, and so I thought that kind of went nicely there. These leaves are one of my favorite new things, the lovely fabric leaves from Prima. Um, here is a, a philosophy tag from Tim Holtz, and it says altered. And this little love um, chipboard piece is from, it's one of the die cuts from the Reflections Prima collection. And so we have some some trim along here. Here's a little bow and some more of the I Am Roses flowers that I distressed in the same way that I did these large ones. And this trim that I put around the box is Webster's Pages, I believe. First of all, I just painted it and then I distressed it with uh, my distress inks and even some sandpaper to kind of give it that grungy wood look. And here's the back. I just added some more paper to the back. So there's my box and now I'll show you what's on the inside. Okay, so when you open the box, I'm just going to use this little basket here to hold my lid open. But um, you can see here I'm, I lined the inside with some more of the Prima Pastiche paper. Um, I used one of the Tim Holtz hanging sign um, Sizzix dies for this little sign and, and I put Amy on there for her name. And I used some Prima flowers to embellish. There's a little Prima lace back there. Some little bows to hold the sign together. And so that's one thing. Um, another thing I, I added in here, I found this little clip. See, it's a little um, like alligator clip. And it's just a little plastic block on the end that I painted gold. Um, and then I just wrapped it with some black lace to make like a satchel and tied it with some ribbon and a little I Am Roses flower. And then I made this little Baroque tag. So this is out of chipboard and I just painted the back with some gold. Um, so this little tag, um, again with the pastiche paper, um, layered some Prima lace behind there, added some flowers and some bling. Um, this is actually a Reflections flower. This little cameo is something I bought off Etsy from Canterbury Lane and I can link that Etsy store down in the description if you'd like. And so this is the tag that goes that kind of fits on that little um, on that little clip right there. Okay, so there's that. Um, I also made this. This looks really, really simple, but I didn't want to cover up the flowers and this pattern on this paper. I love this paper. And so what this is basically is a bookmark, and I lined it with some lace, and so she can just slide it right over her book as a bookmark. And then also I left the inside pretty simple so that she could add photos if she would like. The next thing is an altered... Um, composition notebook, a little tiny one, and um, I just lined it with paper, some lace, some flowers, and a Tim Holtz adage ticket. So there's that, and that goes right there. Okay, um, here's a little pocket I made, 
and inside, so I, you know, just lined it with some paper, a little bow there, and then inside is a little tag that pulls out. And so she can add a photo there, something if she'd like, and a little flower at the top. So here's that. Also, I have a little tiny canvas, and this is probably like three by three and a half, maybe three by four. And this was my sister's idea, so thank you, Bonnie, you're awesome. Um, she gave me the idea to look for a little canvas to, to alter, to put in the box. And so first of all, I just painted it um, gold. I did a little stamping on it with a script stamp, um, layered some paper behind it. This is a Reflections Butterfly. These little mini roses are I Am Roses that I distressed the same way I did the, the roses on the cover of the box. Um, some lace. And then these little titles here. Um, you know those vintage bags that we all have, the paper bags? I went through and I looked at one and I found some little um, sayings on there that I thought would work really well. So this one says Creating Charm, this one says Abstract, and this one says Perfect in Simplicity. So I just added those on um, my little canvas. And I also made this little book for her. Um, it's not wanting to stay closed, so I'm using this clip to close it. But it's basically just a little, she can use it as a mini book, um, a journal, a sketchbook for ideas, whatever she would like. It just has some craft cardstock on the inside, the paper on the outside, and a cute little bow, some lace and a chip piece from the Prima Pastiche collection. And so to keep it closed, we kind of just put that clip there. And then we also have a couple flowers. So this is one of my favorite new flowers to make. Um, Prima makes a flower like this called the Gatsby flower. And I found um, a really cute tutorial that Rena did. She's Scrapstress on YouTube. And she made one of these, and I it's so, so, so easy, and I just loved it. And so I, I used her tutorial, and I made one of those flowers. And the cameo, again, is from Canterbury Lane. And so for the last flower, I did a lollipop, and I added some beads in the center, and I just did a little bit of lace on the side there, and so that fits in right there like that. And so those are all my items for my box, and um, I had a lot of fun doing this, and um, I can't wait to do more swaps in the future. And so thank you again, Bona, for um, hosting the swap. I really appreciate it. It was a lot of fun. And so, Amy, I hope you enjoy your box, and we'll talk to you all soon. Bye.